Hey guys, it's Max here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the angling of your solar panels. Depending on where you are in the country, depending on the season, depending on the month, the optimal angle for your solar panels will be slightly different. We're going to cover everything that you need to know when designing a system and angling your solar panels. I'll also timestamp the bottom of the video so you can hop through the parts that you want to know more about. So first things first, if you are in the northern hemisphere, when you're setting up your solar panel array, you want it to be south facing. So now that we know that we need our solar panels facing south as much as possible, the next thing is it can be difficult to know the actual angle based on where you are. We've gone ahead and created a solar panel tilt calculator, and I'll throw up a couple of photos right here of what that actually looks like. I'm also going to link it below so that you can go and check it out yourself. All you need to do is put in your zip code and then it'll tell you the optimal angle year round by season and by month. For most people, if you're setting up a solar panel array, you're best to set it up at the ideal year round tilt angle. That's because in most cases, when you set up your solar panels, it's actually fairly difficult to change their orientation on a continuous basis. So if you set them up at the ideal year round angle, that means you're guaranteeing your best return on your solar panel investment if you set them up at that angle. For most places in the US, the average or the ideal year round tilt angle is gonna be anywhere between 30 and 45 degrees. Also, the average roof pitch is gonna be somewhere around 20 degrees to about 36 degrees. So what this actually means is odds are, if you're putting solar panels on your roof, it's going to be fairly close to a half decent tilt angle. You might not need to change it much to get the ideal year round tilt angle. This is where ground mounts can come in and why they're becoming so popular is because with a ground mount, it's a heck of a lot easier to actually get the perfect year round tilt angle. Also, because it's a ground mount, and for the most part, you know, you're able to go and touch it and deal with it a lot easier than if it was on your roof. You can get seasonal adjust ground mounts, which means that you're able to go out, you know, four times a year, let's say with the changing of the seasons and actually tilt or change the angle of your solar panels in order to maximize your solar input. Let's say you're building a solar panel array or an off-grid system for your hunting cabin or your cottage, something where you're there roughly three, month, three seasons out of the year. It's going to make sense to set your solar panels at an optimal angle for the seasons you're actually there. So if you're there the majority of the time during the summer, I'd say set your solar panels at the proper angle for the summer months. That way you'll be maximizing your solar output when you're actually there using your system. So using our calculator, it's now easy to know the appropriate angle for your solar panels based on where you are in the country. The hard part from here on out is gonna actually be getting your solar panels to that angle. You can get one of these little things here, which will do the job for you. I'm gonna link this below as well, but this little thing will automatically calculate the solar panel angle for you so that you don't need to get out your protractor and figure it out yourself. So. You'll head over to the calculator that we have on our website, put in your zip code or the address of where you're going to actually put your solar panels, figure out the appropriate solar panel angle, and then use this little thing here to calculate the actual tilt that you're going to want it to be at. Right here, we've got some solar panel stand legs. These are very popular when it comes to mounting solar panels. They generally work for kind of an RV, van, those type of things. A lot of people will just want to put them in their backyard and they use these solar panel stand legs to do that. We've got videos that show you how to set these up step by step and obviously whenever you order from Shop Solar Kits, you know, you get all those step by step how to videos. Why these are so beautiful and why they're so popular is you can see on the front here there's some holes. This allows you to mount directly to solar panels and bracket them in. And of course all the panels that we include with these are designed to work together. There's also holes on the bottom here. So you're able not only to mount the solar panels to the front of this, but you're able to mount this directly to maybe the roof of your shed or your RV. 
Maybe you'll just stake these into the ground if you're just gonna use these to set, set up your solar panels in your backyard. If you have a flat surface, for example, something like this will actually help you get your panels to the appropriate angle. Lastly here, let's talk about two of the panel options that most people are gonna use for smaller size systems. We have here one of our favorite solar panel suitcases, and right here is a rigid solar panel. For a solar panel suitcase, it has the built-in legs and is at a fixed angle. If I turn on this unit here and I put it on the solar panel suitcase, I see that it's angled to 36 and a half degrees. So solar panel suitcases are great. They obviously come with a carrying case. They're high quality. They have their own uh, legs on the back, but they are fixed at an angle, right? 36 and a half degrees is what the solar panel suitcase is going to be at. If we flip over to a rigid solar panel here, this is flat. So if you were to mount this maybe with some Z brackets on the roof of a van, an RV, a shed, it's gonna be stuck at the same angle as the roof of whatever you're mounting it on. That's where the solar panel stand legs come in and you're able to get the appropriate angle or whatever angle you actually need. The last thing to touch on are ground mounts. Uh, I'm in the office here, so I obviously don't have a ground mount handy. However, when you're building your ground mount, you're gonna to wanna to use the solar panel calculator snag this little unit here and then make sure that you're building your ground mount to the appropriate angle based on where you are in the country. I hope that video was useful. One of the most common questions we get every single day is what angle should I be putting at my solar panels at? So we went ahead and created the solar panel tilt calculator so that you can just put in your exact address or zip code and it will give you that angle. Two things to remember here is if you have a fixed mounted solar panel. So if you mount your solar panels and you're not going to be able to change their angle again, then you're going to want to mount them as close as possible to the ideal year round tilt angle. And that's the first calculation that our calculator will spit out to you. So if you can't move your panels once they're mounted, do your best to, to get them mounted at the ideal year round tilt angle. If you're lucky enough to be able to get a ground mount or some type of mount that you can actually change the angle year round, then you'll be able to, you know, four times a year, let's say, go out and change the actual angle of your solar panels to maximize your output. If you have further questions, you can always reach out. You can also check the solar hub as well. I'll link everything you need below.